You made it here because you want to know how to make the background transparent in Adobe Illustrator. Now we're gonna look at that, but I'm also gonna talk you through some other Illustrator specific things so that you understand what we're working with here uh, in our Illustrator documents. Okay, so for starters, I've just got a piece of type out here on my document, right? And now when you look at an, any Illustrator document, right? There's a giant canvas, this sort of dark gray space. That's what we have to work with. Then we have artboards on our canvas. Now each artboard starts with what looks like a white background. But I'm gonna tell you something here. You actually don't have a white background. You have a transparent background. Now to see that transparency, we need to show the transparency grid. And so what we can do is go up to view, down to show transparency grid. That's shift command D or shift control D if you're on Windows. So what this does is it shows you everywhere that there is transparency in your document. So you might be wondering why when you exported, there's still a white background. Well, as long as you didn't create a shape behind this to actually create the color white for your background, what you need to be aware of is how you're exporting. Now, even if you've had this grid hidden, this is a transparent background still. So that doesn't matter whether you show that grid or not, you still have that transparency. But if we go up to file, down to export, and we're, let's say export as or export for screens, it doesn't really matter. Basically, we can select whether we export certain assets or any element in our Illustrator document, or if we're exporting artboards. Exporting artboards is gonna just take any artboard and let you select within the bounds of the edges of that artboard what to export. So it's gonna export that whole artboard. Now, we have a lot of options here, but the main one you need to be thinking about is down here in formats. So the reason that you don't have a transparent background when you export is probably because you're exporting into the wrong format. Now, JPEG right here, that's gonna be not a transparent background. No JPEG, JPG image can have a transparent background. It'll take all that transparency and just turn it to white. What can have a transparent background that's like an equal image to JPEG is a PNG. These PNG files can include those transparent backgrounds and that's likely what you'll want to export. Now both those file types are created from pixels. So they're bitmap images, they're rastered, which means they have a specific file size or resolution and they're only good as far as 100% quality at that specific resolution. So you make them as, as big as you want basically. Now if you want vector files, those can be SVG or PDF. As far as exports, we can still save this as an illustrator file, .ai. We can also save it as an EPS file if we just go to save as, and those two formats work just as well as far as keeping the transparent background. All in all, there's a lot of formats that will keep a transparent background, but JPEG is not one of them. If we export like that, we're gonna have a white background behind any of our assets or on our artboard, even though our artboard doesn't include that white background. Now this, Transparency grid actually really helps when you have white objects. So let's say you're working on a white logo or some white type. Right now I can't even see that here. So I would go up to view down to show transparency grid and now I can actually work with those white objects on top of my artboard background because I can see where the transparency is and now I can actually see the white that's gonna get exported. Now keep in mind one more thing depending on the preview modes of your computer, when you export these files, like it could be a PNG, it could be an EPS, a PDF, anything like that, you might have exported the transparent background, including um, also the objects that are white on top of that transparency, but the preview, or even double clicking into a PDF, depending on your PDF viewer, might not show the transparency. It might just take that transparency and show it as white, even though the transparency is there. Like it would work if you uploaded to a t-shirt uh, website, like a print on demand, like that white piece would work in that case and they would bring in the transparency. But depending on the preview settings and everything on your computer, you might not see that. If you were to open it up in something like Photoshop, you would then see the transparent background. If you were to open it back up in Illustrator, you would see the transparent background. Or if you were to apply it to any of your documents, like go over to InDesign and use that file, that transparency would be there. But sometimes our computers will preview them differently and you might think, I, you know, I exported this white piece of type 
and the whole thing is just one big white square. There's no white type. Well, it is there, but the computer just doesn't necessarily show through the transparency. So keep that in mind as well. You know, you can always check these things if you open them back up in, in Illustrator or in Photoshop. You can make sure that transparency is there. And if that white square comes in, it's just the wrong format or you actually had a background object in your document. If you guys have any more questions, just hit me up in the comments down below.